Jehovah's Witnesses, ex-Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, those who are waking up, those who maybe want to help someone waking up from this cult. I have a very, very important question I want to ask you. And most importantly, I would like you to ask yourself this question by the end of this video. We know how Jehovah's Witnesses like to say that they are not perfect. But not only that, they also would say that their governing body, their leaders are not perfect. And especially when it's convenient for them to say so. So for example, if you were to show them the trial in Australia, the Royal Commission trial against Jehovah's Witnesses, where one of the governing body, Jeffrey Jackson, gave his testimony, and you would show them uh, some specific parts where he lied or twisted the truth so that would make him look better. Even if you showed them the part where he was asked the question, the very, very simple, plain question, do you believe that the organization of Jehovah's Witnesses is the only true religion? To which he answered, it would be pretentious to say that we are the only true religion. Even if you showed that to a well indoctrinated enough Jehovah's Witness, they would say, and I'm saying this because I know that some have said it, they would say, well, they're just humans. They're not perfect. And I'm okay with that. You're right. They're just humans. They're not perfect. But in this case, there is a very important question you need to ask yourself. As a matter of fact, you must ask yourself. If they are imperfect humans, is it okay? Is it safe for me to listen to their advice and to obey their every command? Have you asked yourself this question even once? You see, a tomato seed will always make a tomato. A carrot seed will always make a carrot. If you fall off of a cliff, you always go downward. You know why? Because those are truth. They are universal truth. The truth doesn't change whether we like it or not. Why do I mean by this? I mean that you can't have it both ways. A tomato cannot be sometimes a tomato, a tomato seed cannot be sometimes a tomato, sometimes a carrot. If you fall off of a cliff, you cannot go sometimes downward, sometimes upward, sometimes to the sides. That's impossible because you can't have it both ways. Well, it's the same thing with your governing body. With the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses organization. They can't have it both ways. Either they are perfect and then you can listen blindly to their advice and to every single of their commands, either they are imperfect, as you say they are, and in this case, you need to ask yourself this question. Is it okay? Is it safe for me and for my loved ones to listen to their advice, to obey their commands? Is it safe for me to let my child die if he needs a blood transfusion, just based on those imperfect men command that I should let my child die rather than accept a blood transfusion. Is it okay? Is it safe for me to not even pick up the phone because my disfellowship daughter or disfellowship son is calling me? Maybe their lives are in danger. Is it okay to follow such command? Think about it. Think about it just, just a, 
Okay. Now I know what you're going to say because remember I was one of Jehovah's Witnesses too after all. You're going to say but we follow those commands because they are coming from God. Really? Well let me expose another thing to you to help you understand. If you compare the doctrines, the what Jehovah's Witnesses today believe and what Jehovah's Witnesses used to believe a hundred years ago, 50 years ago, or even 30 years ago, you'll have to admit that it's quite different. Now, the Bible, whether we like the Bible or not, whether we believe that the Bible is God's word or not, there is one thing that is very true about the Bible. It's that it never changed. The Bible is the same from the time it was written to now. And what's interesting is that in the Bible it says two things. It says that God never changes. And it says that God never lies. So think about this one now. If your doctrines and beliefs are different today, as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, as they were to the Jehovah's Witnesses of the past, well, it means two things. It means that, after all, God has changed. And most of all, God has lied. Either he was lying then or he's lying now. But you see, again, you can't have it both ways. Either he lied then or he's lying now. But he could not be true before and true now. Not lying before and not lying now. It's impossible because you believe different things. But most of all, you know why you believe different things? Based on the Bible. If you compare 100 years ago, 50 years ago, 30 years ago, or today, it's because between you and the Bible, what do you see? What do you find? Well, between you and the Bible, men, imperfect men, as you call them, men that form what Jehovah's Witnesses organization calls the governing body. It's them and only them that put themselves between the Bible and you. So that is why even though the Bible has never changed and in the Bible says God never lies, never changes either, everything has changed. So based on the very words of your Bible, even your very bad translation of the Bible, I think you can still find those two, uh, those two phrases in the Bible, which I can't remember where they are, but I know they are there, where it says that God never changes and God never lies. So again, either he lied or he's lying now, and it's definitely changed. But you know, I don't believe that at all. What I do believe, because I do know, is who have changed? Well, men. Men that put themselves between you and that Bible. Between you and your word of God. Whatever you want to call it. So, you definitely need to ask yourself the question. You have the proof. You have the, the blind, I mean, it's blinding as the sun kind of truth that those men are indeed imperfect. And they have changed. They have changed their doctrines from a Bible that says itself that it doesn't change and that it's from a God that doesn't lie. They have changed and they have actually made God a liar. If you do believe that your Bible is the word of God, they have made God a liar. So you absolutely need to ask yourself, is it okay? Is it safe for me to listen blindly to the commands of those men? And especially, 
especially when it affects yours and the lives of your children, of your loved ones. Please, Jehovah's Witnesses, wake up and smell the roses. This is very serious. I'm not making this video to make fun of you. I'm making this video to help you wake up. And when the idea of this video came to my mind, I said I have to make this video because maybe, just maybe, it may help someone wake up. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, like it, share it, comment, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.